Hey, Brighton Hospice. Uh, my name is Eric Ravenkamp. I'm the Director of Support Services for Brighton. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what I try to do for self-care. I was told about, you know, when I started hospice that usually people burn out within seven years. Well, doing what I love, I was bound and determined to not let that happen to me. So I decided to kind of focus on things that I could do to take care of myself so I could do this for a long period of time. Self-care can be really tough, especially during COVID times. And I'm certainly no expert at all, but these are some of the things that I try to focus on. What I do is I look at life as what fills my cup. What are the things that give me energy? And then I try to eliminate the things that drain me or drain my cup. And so today I'm going to talk about what self-care things I do to help fill my cup. Um, one of the things that um, I think is important for all of us to know is, is the things that drain us. And for me, it's, it's sitting in front of a computer all day and not moving around, not going outside, enjoying nature. Um, so I try to break up my day a little bit, not watch too much news that can be overwhelming. St I stopped doing Facebook. I found myself getting really frustrated all the time with uh, some of the negative posts that people are having. And I just decided, you know, why, why am I doing this? It's not helping me so I decided to get rid of it. So what I do do is um, because I'm more of an ex extrovert I try to get together with people outside. Um, for me that gives me energy. I love um, being with people, listening to people's stories. That really fills my cup. Uh, the other thing I love to do early in the morning is I'll go out and I'll take my dog Otis for a walk. I love watching him run. He'll chase the birds and it just uh, kind of brightens my day. This weekend, I was able to get outside with my wife and some friends, I went for a long bike ride. Um, that was really pretty cool as well. The other things I try to do is, is get involved in the community. Um, for me, I have to, I know that if I focus too much on, on myself, I can get depressed and things, but if I'm doing things for others, it helps fill me up. So the, the church that we attend really um, gives me a lot of opportunities to serve. It kind of lifts me up. I love the music. I love the opportunities to serve. Um, it just does a lot for me personally. I'm also on a couple of boards. I'm on the board of Bread of Healing Clinic, which serves people with that are working poor that don't have insurance. Um, I'm also on the board for Elena's House, which is housing for people with HIV and AIDS. We started that about 16 years ago, and it's still going. And pretty exciting. I, I love being around the folks that live there and it just brings me a lot of joy. So for me, self-care means finding ways to fill my cup, minimizing the things that drain my cup. Um, next week, you can look forward to watching C, a chaplain in Oregon, and she's going to share some of the things that she does. Um, thanks so much for listening. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Um, have a great weekend and try, try to find ways that are going to uh, fill your cup and bring joy to you each and every day. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.